when I'm your crate. I can fully stretch my arms forward. I can literally feel my legs straight. Everybody, welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we have something very exciting for you. As you can see, she is following me around per usual. But today, we are going to be doing a little review and showing you guys Sage's new crate because she got a little upgrade, didn't you? She's over me. Anyways, guys, let me give you a first look at her crate. Let me close this door so that you can see the closed version. Ignore the mess in our kitchen. This is Sage's new crate. It's the Impact the Dog Crate. As you can see, there's a door. Can I help you? There is a door on this side, and then there is another door over on that side. And then let me show you the back view. Just looks like this, and then that other side, as you can see through here, looks the same as this side. So, this crate, as you can see with Sage next to it, is pretty darn big. These two sides open, so as you can see, there's a little keyhole because it actually came with two keys, so you can actually lock her in there. Beyond just closing this, you could actually lock the door if your dog for some reason is like super anxious and trying to get out, but here is the little gate opens. It shuts just like that, it's a little handle. And then this we bought for her on Amazon. As you can see, it's a little too big given the size of the inside of the crate, but this crate is massive. John, why don't you get in there and show them? Oh no, I was adjusting the bed. Okay, Shade is gonna show you guys. So look at her. Look at her, how much room she still has in there. It's also really tall, guys, so when she gets bigger, she won't be hitting her head if she's like standing up or sitting because in the other crate we had for her, she was almost already hitting the roof when she would be sitting, but as you can see, look, she's like in the crate fully and there's still all that room. Good girl, you're showing them your crate. And then you close it. When she's mean to me or she bites me, you know, and having her little tantrums, makes me feel good when it's like this because it's like she's in jail. <laughs> this is her. She's in prison, guys, and we're just looking at her through the bars. Ain't that right, Sage? She's like, I don't really care, to be honest with you. But yeah, it opens like this, and she just vibes in there. As you can see from our last video, Little Bear is now her new favorite. The other one is fully dead because she ripped its ears off. But yeah, she likes this crate. She was really scared of it at first, but she's also just in general scared of everything. But she was very terrified of this crate. And as you can see, this part has handles so you can carry it pretty easily. And according to him, he's the one that built it. It was building easily. It was a building yet easy. Oh, it comes built. In a box? Yeah. Like a square like that already built? Yeah, it comes built. Okay, it comes built, guys. There's ones that they have that that, that that you just lift it up and it builds it easily. But this one, this one comes built. I didn't want the, 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 the expandable one because I wanted it to be solid already. But yeah, this one comes built already. Yeah, and it does have these little corner pieces, you know, so it doesn't scuff up your floor or the wall. But yeah, this is like a solid crate. She's like, who's knocking on my house? Why'd you throw your bear out here? That was very rude, Sage. But look at her. Your paws hanging off. So you can tell she really likes this. But look at how much room she has back there, guys. And Sage is a big dog. Also, guys, make a guess. How much do you think Sage currently weighs? She's five months now. Four months. October, November, December, January, February, March. Five months. Five months now. And guess how big she is. I'll give you a second to guess. She is a whopping 56 pounds. She's almost 60 pounds and she's not even six months old. So obviously she's gonna be a big, big fat, chonky girl. But yeah, he's trying to move the crate right now. I don't know why. But yeah, we used to have this in there. Did she just hit her head? No, she's kicking it. Anyway, we used to have this in there. It's what we had in her other cage, but that was so tiny compared to the crate. So we got this new one and it's like, this is like that eggshell memory foam. So she's honestly living her best life in there. And this is where she sleeps every night. We crate trained her since she was a puppy, but 
every night, whoa, I do not know why you guys got zoomed in. Every night she goes, sleeps in there. She goes in there by herself. We don't force her in or anything. We feed, fill her Kong with a bunch of treats. This red one that we had, the little one, or this new blue one that we showed you guys. We just shove a bunch of treats in there or just a couple and then like a little bit of dog food so it's hard for her to get it out. And then, <laughs> I don't know why she keeps hitting the crate. And then she goes in there willingly plays with it, gets them out, or sometimes she honestly just doesn't even care for it and just goes to sleep because she already knows the routine. And as you can see, all these chairs are not in our usual island where they should be because somebody has become a professional escape artist and this playpen is no longer effective at keeping Sage in and contained when we leave. The other day, so recently we've been allowing her upstairs to get her used to being upstairs because obviously we have guests. The guest room down here is probably where they're going to be and you know, it makes sense that we're gonna have her cage upstairs with us because that way she doesn't wake people up. But she has been breaking out of the playpen and now that she knows she can go upstairs, she has been breaking out of here and going upstairs to check it out, make sure we're not up there. So as you can see, we have to put one chair on this side so that it blocks this gate because she likes smacking it really hard to pop it out of the opening. And then on this side, we have to put one chair, two chairs and a bean bag. And even then sometimes she breaks out because she's the freaking Hulk. But look at her without that fluffy little bed thing in there. Look how huge the crate is. What are you eating? The little crumbs of her food that we leave in there. Watch guys, hold the camera. I'm gonna show you guys how big this crate really is. I could probably fit in there with Sage, to be honest. I don't know that I want to, I'm kinda of scared, guys, but I'm gonna try it just for the sake, just for the sake of the views. Sage, go over. I'm gonna get in here with Sage. Oh. Hey, oh! <laughs> she just. Wanna come in with me? Yeah. Let's do this video. I'm gonna close this door real quick. I'm fully sitting crisscross. Also, I'm sitting straight and I'm, I'm barely touching my head up on the, oh God, this was a mistake. I'm trapped. You see guys, can you see how, how big this crate is? I can fully stretch my arms forward. I can literally feel my legs straight. That's crazy. And my head straight. Look at it, I'm literally sitting straight in here and my head's barely touching. You like it, Sage? She's gonna lock me in. Also, you can't, let me see that. Oh, I'm scared. Yeah, you probably should come out. I'll show them when you come out. I was gonna say, you can't open the crate from the inside. Look at what the lock looks like from the inside. I'm showing them over here. Can you back up, girl? I'm Wait. trying to get out. How do I get out? <laughs> if you guys haven't seen that video that went viral, some couple got stuck in their crates and had to go like hop towards each other in the crate to get it opened so that that way they could get out. But. That's basically a review of her crate. I would honestly recommend it. It is a very they expensive crate though. This one's what, the not the anxiety one? No, it's not the anxiety it? one. They have a high anxiety crate where it doesn't have these big holes. It's mostly like tiny, tiny like probably like this big. A bunch of little holes that are that big because for a lot of dogs that have anxiety, excuse the noise, a lot of dogs that have anxiety, the sunlight and like being able to see out gives them more anxiety. So I think that one has like tinier holes. It has tinier holes because uh, when they try to if they have anxiety, they're, they're gonna try to break out and it has tiny holes so their teeth can't get stuck on the on the, on the the gate. These ones have a little bigger because uh, these are more for just regular dogs. So the anxiety ones, they only have one door and they have this, uh, these things are, instead of like openings like this for their teeth, they have really tiny ones so their teeth can't even, they can't even put their teeth in it. Yeah. So that's why they have the anxiety ones. She but as you can see, there's one of these on each side so you can lift the gate. She already got her little bear. But yeah, guys, that's basically the review of her crate. These I are good. would. These are what, uh, police use. I don't know about that. Apparently, yeah. that's what police use. But I would recommend the crate. But if you do get it for your puppy, get a huge one, even if your puppy is a tiny puppy, and just make sure that they can grow into it because these gates are very expensive. And, and they come with the divider. Some of them come with the anxiety ones. Come with the dividers. So. Yeah. But these crates are really expensive. So even if you have a little puppy, get them a big one that's like a, their max growing size. She's about to take that mattress with her wherever the heck she wants. Look at her. Breaking stage. And oh yeah, she wouldn't put on her bed. Anyways, I would get the bigger size just so that you don't waste a lot of money because this crate I think goes for 
the bigger sizes go for over a thousand dollars we were fortunate enough to have someone that what in the world she just almost knocked this freaking chair down but we were fortunate enough to know someone that ordered the wrong size for their dog and so they were selling it for cheaper and we just happened to be able to get it from them and in the color that matches our home the most but and i just noticed she's been eating her bed of course she is she's a freaking weirdo but anyway look she found out we found out and now she's like they're not gonna give it back but yeah guys i would highly recommend this crate let us know if you've tried this dog crate or if you've tried other dog crates and yeah just let us know your thoughts we'll go ahead and link down below the website where you can get it if you decide to get it i'm sure you could probably look it up on like craigslist or i don't know facebook market wherever someone might be getting rid of one but i will link down below where we got it and the exact crate we got and then some of the other ones that they have but hopefully you all enjoyed this video and let us know like i mentioned if you've tried out this crate if you tried out a different crate or what crate you're using for your dogs sage is not a very anxious dog since we got her since she was a puppy, we've been leaving her like at home, even if it's for a couple hours. And when we leave her and when we come back, we don't really react to her leaving or like being like, oh, we're Sage, bye. Or like, oh, good girl, you did so good while we were gone. Until we let her out of her crate just so that she doesn't build up that anxiety of waiting for us and like feeling like, oh my gosh, I need to like wait for them to get here. Oh, they just left me. So she's not really anxious. She, yeah, like I said, she mostly just sleeps in her crate. She's been crate trained, so she'll go in there willingly. She sleeps in there. She only whines a little bit if she knows we're home, just because she's annoyed that she's not with us. But I would honestly recommend this crate. But if you obviously don't want to buy it because it's expensive, there are other alternatives you can use. The other crate we used was really good too. It just was getting small for her because of how big she is that she couldn't really sit up straight without being hunched. But like I said, she was never an anxious dog. She never tried breaking out of her crate regardless, so that one probably would have been fine. But this one she has no chance of breaking out in because sometimes dogs will push up and like try to jump against the crate. And if you have a regular wired one, they will get out of it or they'll get hurt because it bends and moves a lot. Kind of like her playpen. Like as you can see, if she were over here like pushing up against this, like this whole thing moves and she could, you know, get her paw stuck in here and whatever. But in this like, you can't, there's nothing. Like even if she puts her finger in here and pulls, like nothing's gonna happen. This is a pretty heavy, heavy, high, heavy duty crate. But yeah, she likes it. She's showing you guys how much she enjoys her crate all of a sudden, just because we're recording. Good job, Sage. Way to take one for the team. I don't know why she's trying to freaking lick the side of her crate right now. She's trying to figure out how to get out. She's like, oh, <laughs> she's a little weirdo. But anyways, guys, like I said, I hope you enjoyed the video. Be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And we will see you in the next video. Hopefully, by then, we have the actual e-collar we were trying to buy so we can do a review on it. And we'll let you know if it comes in. But let us know what kind of content you want to see. Let us know what you think about the crate. And any other future videos you'd like to see from us and we will see you next time.